I'm <laughs> just fast traveled in here and I'm getting attacked. Look at the wreck. We will never wreck. Oh, wow. What is that guy using? Devourer. I don't think we fought a devourer before. Where are you going? Why are you running? Why are you running? Come back. <laughs> He's not. <laughs> it's like, it's on your terms, is it? Oh, you're going to blow up. Yeah, we fought these before. Been a while, though. I don't remember them doing a, a Witcher-like ability, like... Like, they, would, they did, like, an, um... Did, like, an odd thing like that. Or maybe they just copy what you do? I don't know. There's some more. Some more devourers. Two of them. Hey. Well, hello. Hello, devourers. Hey, yes. Hey, there. You alright there? Oh, let me get my Quinn back up. I do like my multi multi Quins when I have time to reapply it, and when they don't break them all, like bosses. Bosses seem to like to break them all. That's it. Trigger your friend. Yeah, I don't know what it is with like bosses. They just hit so hard that they uh, they render Quinn like kind of useless. I suppose otherwise it would be overpowered or something. I do wonder. I, I'm presuming it's because it would be overpowered if they didn't. What? Lost your nerve? I'm trying to loot here, man. What are you doing? Well, come on, then. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. <laughs> yeah. He's choking. Yeah, I was trying to, trying to loot this lovely... I'm trying to get more food for the next fight. Um, I was supposed to... I did sell stuff. Okay, I sold stuff, but I forgot to buy food. <laughs> so I have a... I have a... I have a lack of food, unfortunately. But I'm hoping I don't have to fight on this next bit, but I have a... I have a sneaking suspicion since I bought no food, I'm going to have to fight. And then I'm going to be like... What do you... Because all I've got is booze. And booze makes your screen go blurry. So what use is that? Maybe I should have picked up a snack. I mean, there's always like stuff around these places, but... Oh, there's some food. Okay. I was going to say there usually isn't any food, but sometimes there is, but it's always like one or two pieces. Yeah, it's not going to be enough, though. I really need to go buy some, I think. Uh, there's a good place to pick up food. There's nowhere nearby, really. I was in Oxen for it. I suppose that I should go to an inn of some kind. Why does one always want to purchase the best food? Probably a dandelion's place, right? Yeah, let's pop over there and get some food and then we'll see. Because I'm, I'm suspecting there's a fight ahead because we're getting to the end. Long live um, can I call my horse? Yeah, because like... I was on this part here and it wouldn't let me call a roach. It was very strange. Not sure why that was a... That was a thing. Like, nah, no man for you. That was when I was dropping off some stuff to my, uh, to my chest. I think Dandelion's place sells food a bit better. What have I got to do to get a... Yeah. Quality dialogue in the background. I know this is like, this is like, uh, a, a, a den of... Disrepute so sorts, but this guy sells food, I think. Greetings, White Wolf. What comforts might we provide today? Discount on food, please. What do you have to drink that's good? My food, please. Oh, that's just terrible. Look at this. Like one thing. I mean, it's 80 vitality, but. 
There's only one off. Damn. I, was expe I expected better from you, man. I'm going to sell you this junk platter and rotting flesh for that. And this werebear hide I probably will never use. Um, But yeah, some of these places, man, they're just like... Barely got any food. Take care now. What the frick are you supposed to do? I should probably look it up, actually. I'm going to look it up. Like, where do you buy food? Like, decent amounts of food. Alright, I got back with food, no less. I managed to find a, uh, a vendor for that. There was uh, actually a food vendor with, like, 40 food, which was very nice. It cost me 500, uh, 500, uh, orange, but, um, so, yeah. At least I got food now. Ooh, it's a cave, it seems. Okay, let's get in this cave. Meet all geared up temple. Okay, now it's pointing over here, okay. So we need to go up this slope, I guess. It's hard to see, it's like so dark. Maybe I need to up the gamma again. Yes, let's meet in this, ooh. Deep dark cave, yeah, great. Full of mushrooms. <sighs> and apparently it's down here. Where is it? Hmm. Later he shows up. Strange choice of locale. Guessing there's a reason for it. You're an art lover. Thought you'd appreciate the place. A witcher with aesthetic sensibility. Forgive my disbelief. But since we're here. I believe you have something for me. Fulfilled the third wish. How do I know this to be the rose? Very well might have picked this up at the Oxenfurt market an hour ago. Look closely at it. Got it from Iris. It was the last thing that bound her to this world. What? Hmm. I think, think she loved you, meant this as a token of that love. She loved me? After all that's passed? Iris, what a mess we made of it all. If I'd only known then how it would end. What? What's happening? I feel as though, as though... The hot irons pierce my chest. 
Sorry to have kept you waiting. So glad to see everyone's made it. How do you feel, Von Everick? A little less troubled? Lighter in the heart? Or dim? What do you want? What do you mean, what? Your soul. You forget. The pack states you can take it only once you fulfilled three wishes and... And we stand together on the moon. Well, what do you know? What? No. We... We had a pact. The moon is there. There! Not here. I gave you what you wished for. Here, on the moon, our contract you, you. fulfilled. Of course. You cheated me. I never cheat. Hmm. Yeah. Wait. Do not interfere, Witcher. Remember what I did to the last fool who interrupted me. You grant wishes, right? Grant mine and release him. He must repay his debt. Let him go, and I'll take it on. We'll call it mine. You wish to give your soul for his? No, but we can play for them. I lose, you take mine and all Geert's. But if I win, you release us both. What do you propose we play? Gwent? Don't know. Maybe we can bet on a challenge. You know I'm good at accomplishing the impossible. Seen me do it. Hmm. Very well. But we shall do this my way. What's happening? You wish to play, so let us play. I shall tell you a riddle. Solve it, and both you and Olgird will be free. And if I don't? <laughs> then we'll all three go for a wild ride. It's what you proposed, is it not? True. The riddle. Let me hear it. To all things and men I appertain, and yet by some am shunned and disdained. Fondle me and ogle me till you're insane, but no blow can harm me, cause me pain. Children delight in me, elders take fright, Fair maids rejoice and spin. Cry and I weep. Yawn and I sleep. Smile and I shall grin. What was that supposed to be? You tell me. What am I? Hmm. I think about that. <laughs> Let's see. Like shunned and disdained. What am I? Hmm. 
Okay, let's do it. You're going down. We shall see, my friend. You must find me before the sand in the hourglass runs out. Ready? Let's begin. All right, here goes. What is this place? <laughs> you like it? Plenty more where it came from. Just remember, you must find me before time runs out. Hey, no time for fighting. I've got to keep going. to the archway I'm not sure if I need to go up or not try over here oh, no time for fighting what's up is it up here oh how do I get up let me get up is it about swords that turns men into oh. utter fools when they see one for the taking? Oh yeah, it's a sword there. Through howling oh. winds, pouring rain, with their life hanging by a by thread. thread. yeah. Which reminds me. Okay, I guess Time that's a dead end, so... Uh, and to continue down the road, I guess. Can we... Can we oh, for frick's sake, let me get out there. Come on. Uh, okay. yeah, I'm going off path now. That's not good. There's a mansion over there. Let's check that out. That looks promising. Oh, awful. You're oh. doing terribly. Am I indeed? Oh. Always give up. As I see it, no time to you will fight. never find me. Never. We'll see about that. Okay, down here maybe. Mirror. So this is where you're hiding. Oh, is this it? <laughs> Come now. You didn't expect it to be that easy, did you? Several mirrors. There's a fountain. Doing that forever. Care to wager on it? What's going on with this? Oh, is this an odd thing? Yes. Is that the end of the timer then? Time defense. <laughs> they just had to finish with one. Gotcha. Oh, no, I was talking gibberish. Cool, we don't need to find. Yes. Well, at least there's that. Whew, that was a bunch of running around, wasn't it? So, any better? Yeah, thanks. Wine's revived me a bit. This plonk could revive a corpse. An exquisitely rank vintage. You know what, though? It's good at last to taste something real. So, 
Have at it. Tell me what the blazes just happened. Your brand's gone. Guessing that's a good sign? <laughs> yeah, it's like all geared at the stupid motivations, but he's just... He had, he had like good, good intentions, but just went about it all the wrong ways, I guess. So, yeah, ultimately... When I found out he did what he did because of what the Man of Mirrors did, so it's not his fault. Yeah, I couldn't let him just, just take his soul. Especially since that guy, that guy's, the the mirror guy is like pure evil, where it's all gears, just how he is because of how he is, his upbringing, so forth. Is he kind of, I suppose he isn't a, a good guy, but he's not like ultimate evil either, so. Hmm. What's it like to have a heart of stone? First off, you tell me what it's like to have a heart of stone. <sighs> it's wonderful at the start. You feel no fear, no angst, but also no concern, no care for anyone, not even those you loved. And gradually, you lose them. Well, you know how it ended. What about your senses? Taste, smell? All there. At first, I savoured the world like never before. It was stronger, more clear. How's that possible? I did not wish for a heart of stone. That was a mere side effect. I wished to win back Iris's hand and have my fortune restored. And then, to live like there was no tomorrow. And thus I lived until... Until I ceased to feel anything at all. What a joy to be done with it. Because I am done, right? Will you tell me what happened? Hmm. Odim decided to have some fun at my expense devised a game I was supposed to lose. Seems he'd forgotten the training you put me through in doing the undoable. So only to protect myself. In doing so, I put you in harm's way. Forgive me. Hmm. Well, don't have to worry about him anymore. You're safe and free. I thank you. Though I've no notion what to do with this freedom now. Mira took everything. Everything I loved. All I held dear. Not true. Got your heart back. A bitter victory. Now at last I sense how much I've lost. I have a heart again. Yet all it feels is grief, sadness, and defeat. My life is a ruin. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll work out. <laughs> mm. I don't know. <laughs> Neither sounds good. <sighs> Can't say I envy you. As the saying goes, careful what you wish for. Oh, I shall be. Believe me. Actually, I have a better idea. I'll never wish for anything again. It's time I took fate into my own hands. Live life anew. And truly, this time. Sounds like a plan. I'll never forget what you did for me, Witcher. I have something for you. Can't accept this. You can, and must. This saber's been in my family for generations. Even when I'd lost all else, it remained at my side. Means a great deal to me. All the more reason why I can't take it. Do me the honor. This'll mark the start of my new life. And such a weapon could be right useful to you. Thank you. 
Ow! Sorry. You needn't be. I thank you again, Geralt. And good luck on the path. Good luck to you too. Yeah, that was Hearts of Stone. Wow, I was uh, expecting a big fight at the end, but they, they did, did a little puzzle uh, run instead with the timer. Yeah, so that that was that was better than I was expecting. I was expecting another fight that was gonna be uh, stressful. But I'm very glad that they decided not to do that. <laughs> Studio heads. So who designed the boss fights? Because that that guy is. Uh, they just devised the type of fights that uh, have regeneration on the on the bosses and. Think about regenerating bosses as if you tie that in with tactics that make it hard to stop them. It becomes very, uh, very drawn out fights, which isn't the best for a let's play. I think if I was playing it by myself, I wouldn't mind it at all. I did whinge about it, but it's like, I don't think I, I think if I wasn't doing like, uh, you know, it's kind of timed thing, you know, where you're recording, I don't think I would care that much about it. But because I was doing the time thing, I was like, did you have to make them regenerate? and uh be be annoying but yeah this was a very good expansion i've really enjoyed it i really like the story i would have liked a bit more of the story actually um but i suppose they they didn't want to draw it out too long um i'm guessing there's no music at the end here because it's all copyrighted music probably and i said it to not to not play any copyrighted music yeah so there's probably some some song here would, would get me a copyright claim but uh, they've thankfully cut it out for me that's nice but yeah i really enjoyed it really enjoyed the different missions and stuff and how it's set up um yeah working for odim was interesting and great character really really uh really well acted character i thoroughly enjoyed interactions with him and uh yeah i thought at the end there uh, i would like to liked him to have said a bit more but i suppose it's just like by the end of that you just like go away or dim because you you know you find out all the horrible things he's done so he ceases to be as charming once you find out he's just uh just pure evil and after people's souls uh, so he's not very nice um and you know you watch him kill people and stuff and he's just you know he, he loses his charm he's still you know he was charming to begin with and uh sly and stuff but he yeah he, quickly re reveals his true nature to you yeah but yeah that's really nice to do and next is blood and wine which i'm not sure what that's about i think it's vampires perhaps with blood i'm not sure but we're gonna find out what blood and wine expansion is like next um there was a good few quests for that as well which is nice i think my favorite quest on hearts of stone was probably the auction house stuff i wish i had more money for the auctions there that would have been great um and interactions with um i can't remember the dwarf's name but always fun interacting with dwarves and you know at the auction house was great um yeah i think that was my favorite part um the stuff with the uh, all geared was just like a real witcher story you know like nothing works out it's all grim it's all you know it's all like real shit basically <laughs> that you have to you have to kind of slog through and you know you try you you start off trying to get Geralt out of the bind and then you like feel sorry for all geared and after Iris, I didn't feel sorry for all gear, but then I, when I found out it's all his, you know, all, all the Man of Mirrors' fault, uh, you know, it's not really his fault, and you know, I kind of like changed my mind in between episodes. I, was, I think I finished one episode like screw all gear, but then I was like thinking about it, like, well, he's only he he wanted to live forever with his, you know, with his wife, and that's how you 
got the heart of stone and you know duh that's why he's eat that's why he is how he is and how he became how he became so but it was i think it was after fighting multiple old geards that i was like screw that guy but after time i kind of no because that boss but that boss wasn't too bad you know if you kill his kill all his um his uh doubles like one at a time it's not really all geared it's some sort of weird manifestation but if you kill them one at a time it wasn't that bad of a fight to be honest it was just because i like i tried to take on a couple at a time i, I kind of screwed up that fight um can we can we escape yeah we can escape out of that nice so we're back in the game yeah but uh i'm, I'm not sure if i could I, I found a sword i wonder if you could get some witcher gear out of that oh well it's okay if I can't, can't get any witcher gear. That's fine. I don't really need any. I mean, I just need to update this Master Wolf set. And I've got a really nice set that I'm very happy with. Um, let's put us straight on to... Yeah, put us straight on to Blood and Wine next. Which is awesome. Meet with the Knights of Toussaint in Holloway. Uh, so that's where we're going to be heading off till next time, guys. Uh, let's just find out where that's gonna be. That's gonna be over there, which isn't actually too far away. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it off here, guys. Hope you enjoyed Hearts of Stone, and uh, yeah, next time we'll be doing Blood and Wine and stuff. Um, I might do some like in between stuff just to make my money back because I spent a fortune on food that I didn't need. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to recoup my losses um and i used a lot of food on that old geared multiple well it wasn't all geared but the apparition of all geared fight used all my food um even though i had the i forgot i had the white raffids decoction of course so I could have just used that a couple of times as well but when you're in the when you're in the moment i'm used to just using food uh, um and i sometimes i accidentally use superior swallow but a superior swallow should be what i'm mostly using um because i could just refresh it and not have to use food but i don't know when i get in the fight i just kind of go with what works anyway i hope you enjoyed this episode guys till next time let me know what you thought about hearts of stone i'd like to hear what you what you thought about it and if you played it yourself let me know down in the comments down below and please give me a thumbs up if you like this episode guys till next time